Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, we're going to be using the EXM free tweaking utility to boost your FPS, lower your latency, and overall make your PC feel smoother. But before we start the video, I'm going to tell you guys about tools that can completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance and lowest possible latency. Check out exmtweaks.com where you can find my premium and standard tweaking utilities. We have over 1,500 reviews on our Discord server and website combined. So make sure to check out exmtweaks.com to completely optimize your PC. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the files used in the video. So simply go to your browser and search up discord.g slash exm and press on it. All right, so once you're in my Discord server, simply navigate over to the free tweaking utility section and in here find version 4.0. But if there's a newer version, you can of course use that. If you guys want me to drop a new version, get this video to 1000 likes and get me to 19,250 subs and I'll drop a new version of it. So yeah, simply go to the download link and in here, right click on EXM free tweaking utility and press download and we'll scan it for viruses. You can see that it passed and here simply press on this at the top corner. It will open the folder to simply minimize every window and drag EXM free tweaking utility this little file on your desktop. I'll just put it in the center and you can see I have it right here. So simply right click on it and run it as administrator. It will open this little welcome screen where you can just press any key on your keyboard to continue. And here we have restore point. And what a restore point does is it basically allows you to revert back to normal like before the tweaks were done. As you can see, there are little explanations under most of the tweak categories so you know what they do. So yeah, just press one followed by enter on your keyboard and it will make a restore point. It should take a few seconds and boom. Now it will download some resources which the utility uses in order to function. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is general tweaks. So simply press one and enter. This one is pretty simple. You just press one button and it does everything for you. I'll just skip to when this is finished. All right, so it's finished. The next thing that we're going to be doing is mouse and keyboard. So press two. And in here we have two options. So optimize mouse and keyboard registry settings. So just optimize a bunch of registry values which will make your keyboard and mouse more responsive and smoother. So yeah. Also disable stuff like sticky keys, which is kind of annoying. Next, we have keyboard and mouse that are size. So I put three different values here, uh, 14, 17, and 20. And the way you find out whichever one you should choose is basically open task manager. Go to performance and uh, here you have your CPU. So comment what you have right here down below and I'll tell you whichever one of these values you should use. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick 14 since I have a pretty high end CPU. And yeah, that's everything for mouse and keyboard. And the next thing that we have is Windows tweaks. So this is gonna be 16 different options which optimize a bunch of different settings and disable stuff like notifications and other useless features. But yeah, I'm gonna briefly explain anything which needs to be explained. So disabling transparency, it makes your taskbar and stuff like that transparent and it takes up a little bit of your RAM so it's nice to disable it. Then we have notifications which this is pretty self-explanatory. Next we have useless animations which this will open up this little menu and in here just copy my settings. All right so the next thing that we have is disabling telemetry and auto loggers and these are basically features that run in the background and collect data so they're pretty useless and I'll just disable them. It may show, show errors, but uh, but it's just because the file doesn't exist in the system, so it's already basically disabled, but yeah. Next, we have disabling Bluetooth, which uh, if you don't use Bluetooth, it just runs in the background and takes up a little bit of your resources, so it's kind of useful to disable. And I also want to remind you guys that uh, if you go back to the menu, you can go to reverts and enable a bunch of stuff without having to use a restore point. So, but I'm just going to disable Bluetooth. The next thing that we have is Windows Update Blocker, so simply press 6 and it will open this little app. And uh, this will basically allow you to disable Windows updates. Of course, you can enable them back in the app, but this is because they can just randomly start up in the background and they will completely kill your FPS. So yeah, press apply now, boom, and keep them disabled. And if you ever want to enable them back, just open the utility, open the app, and yeah. Next, we have disable error reporting, pretty self-explanatory. Then we have disable setting synchronization, which is another useless feature. Next, we have disable diagnostics. If you have frequent problems with your PC, then I recommend, uh, but it's another thing that runs in the background, so I'll just disable it. Then we have disabling background apps. This will basically disallow apps from running in the background without you knowing it. 
Next, we have disabling Windows experiments, uh, which just disables Windows experimental updates. Pretty self-explanatory. Next, we have enabling game mode. So on newer versions of Windows 10 and uh, of course on Windows 11, game mode enabled is better than it being disabled. So yeah. Next, we have disabling maintenance. It's pretty much another useless feature. I know it kind of sounds important, but it's just another pretty useless feature. It kind of sounds important, but it just checks for a bunch of minuscule updates or something. And uh, most of the time they already update automatically. So it's pretty useless. Next, we have disabled tracking and more diagnostics. And next, we have disabled pop-ups and the other types of notifications, which again, you don't want random pop-ups and balloon tips. And then we have activity feed, which is another pretty useless feature. Boom. So next, we have uh, cleaning your temporary files and just press four and enter. And here you can see clean temporary device data. And this will just clean a bunch of useless devices on your PC that are stored there, but they aren't being used. Next, we have Windows Clean Manager. Simply select your Windows drive, which should be your uh, C drive. And uh, boom, you can see I have 780 megabytes of temporary data, which I'll just press OK and it will delete them. I'll skip to when this is finished. All right, so the next thing that we have is memory tweaks. And the first option that we have there is enable or disable memory compression. And in here, just press one enter. If you have 16 or more gigs of RAM, then I recommend disabling it. And if you have less, then I recommend keeping it enabled. So after that, we have general memory related tweaks, and this will just optimize a bunch of stuff related to your RAM. So that's everything for RAM. Next, we have disabling startup services, and this is a pretty useful app called Autoruns. And it may look kind of complicated, but I'll tell you guys exactly what to do. So go to logon up here. And in here, basically uncheck everything, except your antivirus, which I use asset, but you probably have like Windows. And also keep NA files checked. But other than that, uh, you can basically uncheck everything. But I also keep my OBS Studio on since I want my clips automatically. But yeah. But yeah, that's everything. You can just close it right after. Next, we have the GPU tweaks. And in here, simply choose whichever type of GPU you have and do the tweaks. If you don't know what GPU you have, just open Task Manager, pressing T, Performance, GPU. You can see I have a NVIDIA GPU. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna press one and boom. Next, we have CPU tweaks, which if you have overheating issues, then I recommend just skipping these. But yeah, here simply again, choose if you have an AMD or Intel CPU. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, just open Task Manager, go to Performance, and you can see I have an Intel CPU. I'm just gonna press two, enter. After that, we have USB tweaks, which this just disables a bunch of power saving features on your USB ports and more. Next, we have power tweaks. Again, if your PC has overheating issues, then I recommend skipping this. And in here, first option we have is applying my power plan and simply select the EXM free power plan V3. I'm still gonna continue using my premium power plan since it's a lot better. Next, we have the disabled power throttling and more power saving features. Next, we have disabled power telemetry. Lastly, we have disabled useless power plan. All right, so that's everything for power. And after that, we're going to have the deep load section. And this will basically allow you to disable a bunch of useless features and uninstall a bunch of useless apps. And yeah, I'll basically do all of these options. Uh, of course, if you edge, then keep Microsoft Edge installed. And uh, yeah, it's the same for these, but you can always revert them by pressing R and going into the revert category. All right, and the last category that we have is gonna be storage tweaks. So simply press 12, and this will open the storage category. And the first thing that we have here is trim and defragment your drives. Uh, your C drive, just press optimize on it. If it's a SSD, it will take a little while and it will trim it. But if you have a hard drive, it will take quite a long time. So I recommend just closing it here and opening it uh, like normally. Since in the utility, you have to close the program in order to go further. You can just have it running in the background. And for the last tweak, which is enabling user write cache, and simply press two and enter. And yeah, that's everything for the utility. After you finish, simply restart your PC in order for the tweaks to apply. And if you want to completely optimize your PC, simply press W and this will take you to my website, exmtweaks.com. And here you can check out my premium and standard tweaking utilities. These have hundreds of more tweaks than the free one. And trust me, you will notice a difference. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. See you soon.